time. I'm happy, enjoying myself with lime. I'm happy, escape from reality. Yay, and let night take care of me. Oh, oh, we're just happy and smiling, doing almost anything. Having fun and just living. Oh, oh, shopping, chilling, everything. Get happy with Barbados's largest and fastest 4G network. Activate any Lime prepaid or postpaid mobile plan today. This is the Barbados Today evening update for Thursday, November the 20th, 2014. A warm welcome to you. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Criminals, beware. That strong warning to perpetrators as the National Task Force on Crime Prevention zeroes in on domestic trafficking in the country. Head of the task force, Cheryl Willoughby, says her unit will be targeting criminals who may be exploiting people for labor or sexual gain. She says agencies will also monitor vulnerable groups who are easy prey to criminals. We will be keeping a close eye on, on our children as well, the protection of our children, because that is a vulnerable population that we must protect. And those persons out there who may be harboring children, under the guise that they are protecting them and they are using them for their sexual exploitation or any other um, clandestine um, crime. The, the, the government, um, the National Task Force and all law enforcement will certainly be doing our effort at addressing these problems. Willoughby was speaking to the media at the Granley Adams International Airport this morning during the unveiling of a human trafficking poster in the departure hall. There's been a call to fire high court judges who failed to return judgments in a timely manner. The recommendation comes from retired Court of Appeal Justice Sir Frederick Smith. In an interview with Barbados Today this afternoon, Sir Frederick said he has already made the suggestion to Chief Justice Sir Marston Gibson. The former Justice of Appeal said he turned down an offer to play golf because he felt his time would have been better spent preparing his judgments. As I told the Chief Justice already, he's got to tell you if a fellow does not give a judgment, send him home and say, I can't give you leave, do jump back with the judgment by a certain time. And I have also maintained that failing to give a judgment within six months should be a point, should be a reason why a judge should, should be dismissed. Within six months, I mean, it depends on the technicality. But judges, and, and I would of course give, I mean, uh, balance it by giving judges sparks. I would uh, balance it so the charts and do the research and look up the law. Meanwhile, efforts to get a comment from the Barbados Bar Association are continuing. Progress has been made in talks on the dispute at the Precision Packaging Inc. at Lower Estate in St. Michael. However, Senior Industrial Relations Officer with the Barbados Workers' Union, Juliet Pollard, tells Barbados today that the impasse which surrounds the transportation policy of the company for a new shift system still remains unresolved. Pollard said while a lot of ground had been made following negotiations this afternoon between management and the BWU at the Labor Department, the company was still sticking to its decision to retain the contentious transportation policy until the parties meet again on Monday. She said the union delegation rejected this and will now be seeking instructions from the BWU's top brass on whether the workers who have been on strike for the past three days would continue. Four people had to seek medical attention at the hospital today following a four-vehicle accident on Wildy Main Road. The four complained of minor injuries about their bodies. The accident, which occurred around 10.15 this morning, involved two route taxis, a private motor car and a private motor van and a pedestrian. Investigations are continuing. In sports now, Barbados Pride will face off with the Jamaica franchise tomorrow in the West Indies Cricket Board Professional League. The Bajans are confident that the clash at Windward Cricket Club will turn things around as they have home advantage. But the Jamaicans have served notice that they are looking to remain in winner's row in the first of their two away matches. The Jamaicans are scheduled to travel to Trinidad and Tobago to meet the Red Force at Queen's Park Oval next weekend. There's regional and international news after this short break.
The Barbados Food and Wine and Rum Festival, November 20th to 23rd. Taste the culinary delights of top local and international chefs like Marcus Samuelson, and Burrell, Tyler Florence, Roger Mooking, Michael Hines, Dane Sadler, Daphne's Restaurant, and more. The Barbados Food and Wine and Rum Festival, 5th edition, November 20th to 23rd. Visit foodwinerum.com or contact Premier Event Services, Inc. at 435-0670. Get your tickets now at Wine World or Ticket. On the regional scene, a deputy police superintendent in Jamaica finds himself on the wrong side of the law. Albert Dian was fined 800,000 Jamaica dollars or six months in jail for breaching the Independent Commission of Investigations in the COM Act. It's alleged that in August last year, Dian was at the Central Village Police Station in St. Catherine when Indicom personnel visited the station to investigate the fatal shooting of a woman. Dian reportedly refused to hand over five guns involved in the shooting. He was subsequently arrested and charged. On the international scene, three British men were today charged with preparing acts of terrorism. The men ages 19 to 27 are accused of plotting to decapitate a member of the public in the street. The accused were arrested in and around London on November the 6th in the run-up to Remembrance Day Sunday and have been in custody for two weeks. British prosecutors said the men were inspired by a speech from the terror group ISIS, which called for attacks on disbelievers. The men are scheduled to reappear at London's Central Criminal Court on December 4. And on that note, we come to the end of our Barbados Today evening update. We'll be back again in the morning. But until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper and email updates or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also, tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Emmanuel Joseph. Have a fantastic evening. This news update is brought to you by... Today.